Good morning, everybody. Ancestral Wisdom here again. It's raining. What a beautiful morning, though. We're out here in the workshop working on a chainsaw. We got a steel MS-271. We're going to do some maintenance on this thing here this morning, so stay tuned. Here's the latest project and why the saw is in need of a tune-up. Got a piece of English walnut here. I've started carving it into a bowl. Still got some work left to do, but uh, looking good so far. Just a couple of tools you'll need here. So we have our scrunch. That comes with the saw. It comes with most saws. It's got a flat blade screwdriver on one side and a uh, couple sockets on here for taking stuff apart on the, on the chainsaw. Then we have our, our file. This comes with a built-in guide, really user-friendly. Let's get into it. Okay, so you're gonna go through and you're gonna take these three screws out, one here, one here, and one here. And after you get that done, you're gonna remove this cover. Boy, howdy, look at that. That is a plug filter. Okay, so on here, you'll see a lock and an unlock. Okay, you're just gonna turn that. Here we go, we've got a filter. Let's get that cleaned. Okay, here we are in the house. All we're gonna need is some water, some mild soap, and a brush. <laughs> Looking better already. Now I know a lot of guys, they use gas. And uh, that's, that's actually how my dad always did it too, but most of the time we were, we were out there in the woods cutting trees and you kind of use what you have on hand. Um, but gas is gonna be more corrosive on your filter. And uh, I just put some soap on here. I'm just gonna kind of work it in. You can kind of see some of that dirty water coming off of there now. If you look at that. And we'll, we'll turn the water off. We'll throw some more soap on here. Kind of spread it around. And we'll, now we'll scrub it with the brush. I better make sure to clean up this sink when I'm done, otherwise my wife will not be happy with me. We're in the laundry room right now. Got better lighting in here than in the garage. Okay, we got her cleaned off. See that mess in the sink? Okay, now we're gonna rinse it. Okay, we're gonna clean that up and we'll get back to the rest of this here in a second. Went ahead and put that air filter by the wood stove to dry off the rest of the way. You can dry it with compressed air, but I went ahead and opted to do that so I can get the rest of this video shot. Next, we're gonna sharpen this chain. Here's the tools you're gonna to need. You can use just a regular old round file if you want, um, but this one's pretty easy. It's got a guide on there. Um, it's got even a pictogram that shows you which direction to go. And it's pretty sweet. Here's a raker file. So we can file down the rakers. So this is an 81 tooth chain. There's a couple different ways you can do this to keep track of where you're at. The easiest way really is to uh, just paint the... The easiest way that you can do it is just to paint the tooth that you're starting on. So we're just gonna use this paint. 
from this paint marker. Nothing special. Uh, one of these Markle valve action paint markers. We use them in the steel industry a lot. Um, they dry quick and they don't rinse off. Really easy to use. So you can either do that or you can count to 81 while you do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so you see the arrow. The arrow pointing that direction. Over here you got the pictogram of the saw with the chain. So all you're going to do is you're going to use two hands and you're going to run this this way. Okay, so that tooth, you're going to be running your file this direction. Okay, and then you're going to go all the way down. These are offset. So you got, you're going to sharpen this one. And then you're going to sharpen that one. That one, so on and so forth. Then when you're done, instead of this being facing this way, you're still going to have the saw. Okay, there we go. The saw is back here. Direction is this way. So then you're going to focus on these teeth right here, and you're going to run this this direction. Once you get all the teeth sharpened, then we'll move on to the rakers, and I'll show you how to do that. And we're right back where we started here. There's our painted tooth. You'll see how these are nice and clean. They're freshly sharpened. We want to make sure to hit each one evenly. I did four strokes on each one. We went down the whole entire length of that chain, rolled it around a couple different times so that we could get every tooth. We have our air filter back now. It's nice and dry. We'll go ahead and reinstall that. We're gonna check our raker height as well. Now, for those of you that don't know, you've got a couple different teeth here. This is your cutting tooth, okay? And this right here is your raker. You want that raker to be below the cutting surface. Okay, so if we look at this, Let's see if we can get it focused here. It looks like it's just about right, right where it's at. Um, the further these are down, the more wood you're gonna take out. So if you're seeing a really fine sawdust that's coming out of your saw, instead of uh, what we call ribbons, then you probably need to draw your rakers down. If your saw is bucking and grabbing really hard, you're pro you probably took them down too far. So it's better to be on the safe side and just draw them down a little bit at a time. You just wanna be just below this tooth here. I don't think we're gonna draw the rakers down all the way. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you how to do it real quick. It's real easy. You take your raker file and it's the same type of process. You're just gonna draw it across there an even amount of times. So we'll just do two on each one and we'll start on our painted one. So we'll draw them down two strokes on each raker and then we'll do the rest of our tune up and then we'll go out and we'll start this thing up and we'll see how she works. Okay, we're back to that white tooth again. We've got a straight edge on here. I've just got it from that tooth to that tooth. Those are on the same plane. Those are the same side of tooth. You've got your lefts and your rights. So we have these two teeth. You've got some gap in there, which means we're gonna be cutting. So we're looking good. We want to make sure that we have everything evenly sharpened. We want our rakers to be evenly brought down and we wanna sharpen each tooth equally. And one thing I forgot to mention, always when you're sharpening a chainsaw, you want to make sure your chain break is on because otherwise when you're sharpening, this can move forward on you. So just make sure that you set that, okay? 